god. What is this guy doing? Looks so stupid. <laughs> What's up everyone? Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing well. My name is Jonathan and I'm from Singapore and today what I want to be talking about is ProMist filters. What is the purpose of a ProMist filter? A ProMist filter helps soften the entire image, right? It softens the highlights and lowers the contrast. So it gives you a bloomish and a very dreamy kind of look to your image. Today, we're going to try to DIY our own ProMist filters with a normal UV filter and some hairspray. Let's go. Alright, so what you got to do is take your normal UV filter and take your hairspray. So instead of spraying at the surface facing outwards, you should actually do it inwards where you are mounting it to your camera. Oh, I'm spraying my face. What the heck? Then the mist is going that way, just going completely that way. So normally what you would do is right, you would spray it and once it lingers in the air, you swipe the filter through the mist. That can only happen when you don't have any wind. But right now, I'm just like, oh, okay, I need to wait for the wind to stop. <laughs> the wind is coming in. Pick the wrong location, man. Pick the wrong location to be doing this video today. I think it's going there. Okay, wait, the wind has stopped. Oh my god. What is this guy doing? Looks so stupid. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I think that was a bit too much. Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh, okay, I think it's done. Okay, it looks somewhat misty. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you guys a close-up of it right now. How does it look? All right, so now once you have sprayed the UV filter with hairspray, let's screw it onto the camera. Let's go. All right, so this is without the DIY ProMist filter. And this is the DIY filter on the lens. How do I look? How does the image look, right? Does it look a bit soft? So as you can see, the light is now coming in. How do I look? Like, honestly, I don't know. I would need to go back and just like review the footage, but are the highlights softened? You know, um, let me know. So Jonathan in editing, it's back to you. All right, so this is Jonathan in editing. Honestly, I think it worked really well. I'm very surprised at the result. Next up, I have some shots for you so that you can see what the difference is with and without the DIY ProMist filter. Let's go. To my amazement, this thing worked really well. More clips with this DIY filter will be coming soon and I'm really excited to be using this. It really softens the highlight. It makes the image look less digital, you know, less sharp. So I think right now with digital cameras, it's like tech sharp, you know, and it doesn't have the kind of film, you know-ish kind of look. And this DIY filter does help achieve that kind of film soft kind of look but then again with that being said i think this test you know this this diy promise filter could be done at a better timing you know not when it's like noon not when the hot singapore sun is like shining down on us i apologize if the quality is not like up to your standard because it's not up to mine most of the time i'm shooting videos talking headshots in my room you know, where i can control the lighting can control everything but not in an environment like this you know if the light is constantly changing you know if the audio clips out i'm sorry um i'll try to improve next time yeah but cool i think this really works really well and i think i'll be using this more often as well so cool i hope you enjoyed today's video if you found it entertaining or informative hopefully you know give it a like and subscribe for similar content like this but once again this is jonathan i'll see you guys in the next one bye